Picture this, you're sitting on your porch drinking a warm cup of delicious coffee. But this is no ordinary coffee. In addition to providing you with your much needed caffeine intake for the day, this coffee is simultaneously saving the lives of rhinos and African wildlife all the way across the world. Sound too good to be true? Well, then it's my pleasure to introduce to you Shannon French, the founder of Rhino Horn Coffee, an Australian-based nonprofit fighting against poaching in South Africa. How, you ask? Through the unique sales of delicious coffee grounds, organic kindness bars, and some super cool merchandise. Now, before I go on, allow me to tell you a little bit about how Shannon came to be so passionate about wildlife conservation. You see, it's a story filled with bravery, soul searching, and the simple yet powerful decision of one human being who decided to take action. Growing up, Shannon was subject to cruel and unfair bullying. Year after year, this was a frustrating reality for him. One that little did he know, however, would direct him to the heart of what he now loves. While seeking solace from the bullying, Shannon quickly discovered his love for animals and wildlife, who never judged as the way so many humans had, but rather reciprocated the love and interest that he also showed them. It was this growing passion for wildlife that would soon become the foundation for the anti-poaching work Shannon would later dedicate his life to. So when Shannon grew older, he enlisted in the Australian Army, where he then spent three years seeing firsthand the devastation of war. However, it was one particular experience in Timor-Leste, a southeastern country in Asia, that sparked his idea of using funds from the selling of coffee back home to help others. By selling coffee grounds, Shannon was able to raise enough funds for a small community in Timor-Leste to gain better access to clean water, to reconstruct schools, and to improve their very livelihoods. However, it wasn't until he decided to visit his friend Damien Mander in South Africa and volunteer with the Rangers at the International Anti-Poaching Foundation that the selling of coffee took on a whole new meaning for him. And thus, Rhino Horn Coffee was born. Specifically, during his time in Mozambique, Shannon once again saw firsthand the cruelty of war. But this time, it was a war being waged on Africa's precious wildlife. While accompanying the rangers on their daily patrols, Shannon witnessed firsthand the horrors that snares and other poaching tactics can and do have on unknowing wildlife. And as he learned more from the rangers and from the beauty of Africa itself, Shannon knew he had to do something, even if in his own way, to also help stop the unnecessary suffering of rhino, elephant, and many other species. But before we continue, allow me to share with you some interesting facts. Did you know that South Africa is home to 80% of the world's rhino population? And that on average, a rhino is needlessly killed every 12 hours? With more than 1,000 being poached each year from 2013 to 2017? And while anti-poaching efforts are proving effective in many areas, poaching pours still continue to take place around Africa, like in Kruger National Park, for example. Why? Because many Asian countries falsely believe that the rhino horn has medicinal or healing properties. Of course, this could not be farther from the truth. A rhino's horn is made of keratin, the same substance that our own nails and hair are also made of. Yet one kilo, or about two pounds of rhino horn, can sell for up to $60,000 on the black market. And if you don't know, this same black market is also responsible for funding terrorism, human trafficking, and other terrible acts. And yet, for many, having rhino horn on their wall suggests some sort of status or wealth, which if you ask me, is just quite simply a moral failure. Now, back to Shannon and the amazing work of Rhino Horn Coffee. A portion of the profits from the sales of the coffee, kindness bars, and other merchandise are given directly back to conservation and anti-poaching efforts. Not only to help the wildlife, but to also provide jobs and training for all of the rangers working out in the field. Shannon's Rhino Horn Coffee Sales have supported organizations such as the International Anti-Poaching Foundation, Care for Wildlife, and the Old Pajeta Conservancy in Kenya. And with growing sales from the new and delicious kindness bars, Shannon is also now able to help in conservation efforts for additional animals, such as orangutans and koalas. Now, let me be the first to say that the Rhino Horn merchandise may not be as delicious as the coffee in the bars, 
but the sweatshirts will keep you cozy and the t-shirts will send a message while you enjoy wearing them both. These sweatshirts showcase one of the most simple yet hard-hitting logos for rhino conservation that I have yet to read. And the kindness bars? 100% natural, vegan-friendly, gluten-free, and totally plant-based. Shannon and Rhino Horn Coffee's long-term goal is to eventually be sold in major supermarkets worldwide, thus providing more sustainable and continued funds for conservation and anti-poaching efforts. How will this happen? By getting as many ethical consumers and businesses involved in the purchasing, sharing, and the consumption of Rhino Horn Coffee, the kindness bars, and their merchandise. And guess what? You can play a huge role in the success of this goal and in the conservation of wildlife simply by making a purchase from Rhino Horn Coffee, talking about them on your social media platforms, or by sharing what you have learned in this mini documentary. Because if we all take a moment to care from wherever we find ourselves in this big world, together we can take a stand for wildlife. So to learn more about Rhino Horn Coffee and their conservation work, you can visit their website, follow them on social media, and make sure to get your hands on some of their gear. Because while we may not be able to do all the good in the world, it shouldn't stop us from doing the good that we can. A big thank you to Shannon for supporting the amazing anti-poaching rangers fighting on the front lines against such cruelty. Because without them, the fight to protect African wildlife would be even more dangerous than it already is. I truly hope more people decide to take action for wildlife conservation in their own unique ways, just like Shannon and Rhino Horn Coffee have showed us is possible.